What's up? It's your boy, <laughs> aka Sorshash, aka the producers of the uh, the archives. You better go follow our SoundCloud. So today, we have a very special episode of Tech Weekly. I was actually able to get in contact with my friend who uh, not only works for Apple but also works for Samsung and BlackBerry. I was able to get three new designs that are going to be coming out this year for each of the phones. So today I am here to show you the uh, the phone design roundup. Uh, so I've got four phones here. They're, uh, they're in this box, um, obviously pretty well protected. So, I mean, I think it's pretty legit uh, confidential stuff, you know? <clears throat> so just right now I'm like opening up the box and everything. So, we've got the box now, so we're going to put this up on my desk so you guys can actually see this. Just got to move some stuff around real quick. I was not uh, prepared for this. A little bit unprofessional. So, we're going to open this up and we're going to see what is inside. Okay, so, this is a great, so this is a great start, this is a great sign. Obviously, you know, this is mainly Apple oriented. Uh, we actually have two designs from Apple in here from what I've heard We've got the uh, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8s um, As well as the new Blackberry uh, Pro and then also the Samsung Galaxy S9 So they're all in this bag uh, obviously the copper tone bag um, That's kind of just like a trademark of these guys, you know he also works for Copper Tone, and so they use you know their bags to ship everything like this to smuggle it past you know U.S. borders and everything because this is very confidential stuff. Also with this, also with this, it looks like he bought me. He got. Oh my god, dude! Also with the shipment, got a fresh pair of Yeezys. Look at these. Fucking shit! Look at these Yeezys. Look at these things. These are like pristine condition. Oh my god. All right. Oh, dude, look at that soul. Beautiful. All right. What a nice man. What a nice man. God bless him. What a what an American hero. Bring me all this stuff. What a great man. All right. So you guys have been waiting long enough. The unboxing is done. It's now time to start looking at these phone designs. Now these are the actual phones. They're not working at the moment because they don't have all the components hooked up and everything, but. These are the actual phone designs. They have been confirmed by him. I'm obviously not going to name him because if I were, he would get probably fired or um, executed. Like public execution. And I kind of don't want that for him because, uh, you know, he's my friend. So our first phone here is the... This is the iPhone 8. This is just the plain iPhone 8. So uh, as you can see, it's got a nice front. Uh, it looks like they were going a little bit back to, a lot of people thought that they were gonna go a lot longer on the screen, like, you know, from here to like up to here or something. Um, clearly they've gone a different route. They've, they've completely shocked everybody, I think, with this design. Um, it's obvious that they didn't go that, it's obvious that they decided to go more of a short kind of phone. Um, obviously, you know, the back is all, uh, metal, you know, they care about that quality. They care about that quality uh, And also you can see it looks like they only have one uh, One back camera um, Which is an interesting thing. Maybe they actually incorporated that uh, That dual lens into one lens that can do both of the dual lens things um, And then you can see you know little volume buttons on the side. They're uh, nice nice and rubber So that's all good uh, they've got the uh, the top part, you know, they got like the little, ooh, listen to that. I, that's a bit crazy. That's, that's, a, that's a nice noise. That is a nice tactile noise. I really like that. And also you can see that a lot of the rumors about um, the screen, about the home button being in the screen, we were completely wrong. They actually still have it on the front. Uh, it's still there. It's got a nice little tactile press. 
Um, so I'm glad that they actually went back to that because I wasn't a big fan of the iPhone uh, 7s. Um, you know, non really like tactile press. I kind of like hearing that clicky noise when I'm doing that. So now if we look at the bottom, the last part, uh, you can see they've actually taken a very big risk here and have decided to go back to their normal, I believe it was a 24 pin charger uh, underneath. And then also they have little speaker right here. That's always nice. And then they have a headphone jack. They have a headphone jack. They brought it back. They listened to the fans and they brought it back. I'm very happy about that. Very pleased with this design and uh, can't wait to get myself one of these. So now that we've reviewed the uh, just normal um, iPhone 8, we now have the iPhone 8S in front of us. Now this one has a little bit of a different design and that's on purpose. Obviously Steve Jobs wanted this to be a different design. Um, he said that it's, it's pretty cool looking still. Uh, so you can see on the side here, it has the um, vibrate and you know ring button thingy. Uh, it's got the two volume buttons kind of color coded to the uh, nice blue color. Very interesting uh, design choice. Um, obviously going with a lot more of a colorful route than just the uh, normal iPhone 8. So I'm completely fine with that. That's pretty cool. And then on the front here, you can see once again, they have the, the tactile home button. They have the, the front facing camera and they have a little speaker. So that's all good. And then once again with the uh, the back camera, once again, I think it's probably just like the, the two lenses in one lens sort of combo. Uh, Cause as you can see, it only has one lens here. And so that's that's a bit crazy. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know how they decided to make that, but that's, that's pretty cool if they can pull it off. Um, so on the bottom here, you can see they have an upgraded speaker. They have the lightning port and they have the headphone jack. Once again, listening to the fans, doing I think what is right, what is a good step in the, in the right direction. Um, so yeah, and obviously, you know, you can do a little size comparison here of the, uh, of the two, obviously the um, S being a, a bit bigger than the, the normal one, which is, which is kind of how it goes with them. So that's really cool. So now that we've got all the Apple products out of the way, we're going to start moving on to what I believe is the BlackBerry, the BlackBerry Pro. Now this thing is quite a surprise. I didn't think that um, he'd be able to get me one of these. I was really hyped for this. I know that there was a lot of hype surrounding uh, earlier this year. Um, and I'm just happy that he was able to get me one. So uh, as you can see, BlackBerry has gone completely away with the touch features. Uh, it looks like it's mainly just gonna be a keyboard and everything. And I think that that is a great choice. I don't think that there's a lot of phones on the market that are like that. And I think it's a very unique design. Uh, that they have going on here obviously it's got a little bit of thickness to it but that 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 seems kind of promising for me for the hardware inside they might be packing some uh some more ram or maybe a better processor or even maybe just some better like heat sinks uh you know to cool the processor and all that um so you can you know play more games you know play 4k games on your blackberry um obviously you know it's got the uh the answer and decline for the phone calls. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back, look at that. Look at that design. That is a, uh, <clears throat> sorry, sorry about that. That is a, a great, that is a great for the speakers. So that's pretty cool. Um, and actually I think that this has a, it does, it does. So this actually has a removable battery. So that is awesome. You know, you can remove the back, you can change out the battery if you want a bigger battery or maybe this one dies. Uh, so you don't have to buy a whole new phone. So, you know, that that's that's great on them that they are doing what I think the customers want. Um, on the side here, you know, you got your little button. Yeah, you've got a button here. 
uh, on this side you got actually instead of a, a volume button you've got a volume slider so that's pretty cool um, on the side here is the uh, the charging port very interesting side to do that and then I think some sort of headphone jack it's it's strange it looks like it's like it doesn't look like it's 3.5 millimeter it might be a little bit smaller than that uh, maybe like there's some special headphones that'll come with it that you have to buy if so then I don't I don't think that's a good idea but you know whatever I'm not I'm not the designer so you know that that's up to them uh, and then on the side here you know you got a little power button so uh, this thing looks great and uh, I can't wait to see it in action I'm I'm obviously also gonna buy one of these so very excited about that and then last but not least uh, the Samsung Galaxy S9 If there was one phone that I was planning on not seeing this year, it was going to be this one. So, uh, I guess, you know, here we go. So, this is the Samsung Galaxy S9. This thing is crazy. This is one of the craziest designs I've seen in a while. This is probably going to be on my top uh, 10 phone designs of the year list. Um, as you can see, they have completely stopped with you know, these infinity displays and stuff. They just don't matter. It just doesn't matter. So they've decided to go back to the basics and go with a flip phone, which I think is a great idea. You know, flip phones, it was so cool to just, you know, be able to, you know, you know, flip it open and then just, and then just like, you know, talk to somebody. So that is awesome. That is just so cool. I'm, I'm very happy that they did that. Obviously, you know, in the middle here, uh, they've got, you know, the buttons back. They've kind of, once again, kind of with the Blackberry, they've gone away with the uh, touch screen and went back to buttons, which I think, once again, is a great idea. Love that tactile feel of buttons. And I think it just gets the job done better. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, are those speakers? No, they aren't. They actually have little rubber pads on the bottom here uh, to make sure when you, you know, you're closing your phone, it doesn't just crack the screen. So that's good. That's very good. And then obviously on the front here, uh, you know, your boy's got a, a nice, nice uh, front-facing screen. I don't think any phone can say that uh, nowadays. You know, they don't really have front-facing screens. They only have one-sided screens. So this one already has a one-up above most competitors uh, within its price range of about, I believe, eight hundred dollars. Um, and then up here, it actually has a dedicated headphone jack. So you know, you can just pull that little tab off. So you know, the headphone jack doesn't get damaged or anything. Once again, it doesn't look like a three-point-five millimeter to me, but. I don't know, that might just be, I don't know, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it is. Maybe I'm just being crazy right now. Um, but obviously right here, you know, you've got a front-facing camera, which is a great touch. Very happy that they added that. Uh, I'll have to definitely see how that how that turns out. Uh, I think it has around 20 megapixels is what they were saying uh, in, the, in the press conference. And then you've got a volume up and down uh, button there and a uh, the photo, and actually a dedicated photo uh, button, so that's really cool. Obviously, and on the back, kind of like the, um, I'm actually not sure if I can get this one off. It looks like it can come off. I guess it can't come off. Uh, I thought that this was a removable battery. It looks like it can be removed. Maybe I'm just, maybe I just need something to remove it, like some sort of, um, some sort of device that'll come with it later on. Um, but yeah, I am very excited to see this phone once again, also in action. Just all these phones I'm very excited about. And I think that all I think that almost all of them are gonna end up on my top ten phones of the year list. So I mean, you know, a lot of competitors have a lot of stuff to try to match up with. Um, I'm not sure if there's a lot that competitors can do at this point besides innovate, kind of like these did. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just excited to see what happens. I'm excited to get these phones, try them out, and give you guys a review. So uh, this has been Tech Weekly episode three, and uh, I will see you all next time. Sorry, I haven't like uploaded in like ten years. But uh, we're back anyways on that uh, on that Tech Weekly grind. So uh, we'll see you guys next time.